It's well documented in my channel that I love the way the Dutch, the Hollandse, the Hollandse mensa, I like how you fight, right? Ek hou, hu jylle vech. Right, I speak the Dutch, I speak Afrikaans and Dutch, so been there many times, Amsterdam, one of my favorite cities. By the way, Holland, Amsterdam, wherever you Uber drivers are, February the 14th, Valentine's Day, apps off. Off. A Dutch watchdog fines Uber 10 million euros. It's like almost, well, it's more than 10 million bucks. $10 million over privacy regulations infringement, right? So they don't want to play by the rule. Uber, these companies don't like playing by the rules. They go around the outside. They try to get sneaky. They try to screw over the laws or their local Dutch laws or their local UK laws or their local fr uh, French laws. Uber thinks they're superior. Tony West thinks they're better. Boom! They get slapped down, right? Again and again and again. And you'll see the stock then take a little dip. And then they try their shenanigans again. And then Daryl Koshishawi gets caught with his pink Vit Victoria secret panties down. Once again, they get slapped down. And uh, Tony West gets caught with his La Perla French lingerie down. And they get slapped down heavily. Right. So $10 million is not small change. It's a number I would maybe consider if they paid me um, Uber. You ready, ready to pay the ride share professor 10 million euros? Amsterdam, the Dutch Data Protection Authority, the DPA, on Wednesday fined Uber 10 million euros, 11 million dollars for infringement of privacy regulations regarding its driver's personal data. They can do it, why can't we do it, right? The DPA found that Uber had not specified in its terms and conditions for how long it retained its driver's personal data or how it secured the data when sending it to entities in countries which it had not named outside the European Economic Area, EEA. Uber also obstructed its driver's efforts to exercise their right to privacy by making personal data access requests unnecessarily complicated. The authority added, noting though that Uber had taken steps to fix the issues flagged. The Dutch Data Protection Authority has acknowledged that Uber fixed the small number of low impact issues raised by the drivers while dismissing the vast majority of their claims as unfounded. An Uber spokesman said, in an emailed statement to Reuters. The spokesman added that the company continuously works on improving its data request processes. No, it continually works on finding new ways to fuck over Dutch and any international driver. That's the truth. The fine was imposed after more than 170 French drivers. You see, they're the French again. They fucking, they know. France, vive la France! Come on, France, stand with us. Paris, Marseille, Lyon, stand with us on February the 14th, my friends. Merci, Francais. Merci, France. The fine was imposed after more than 170 French drivers complained to a French human rights organization which lodged a complaint with the French Data Protection Authority. However, as Uber has its European headquarters in the Netherlands, it was forwarded to the DPA. And the DPA... Slap, slap them down to the tune of 11 million euros. So, moral of the story. Dara Koshishawi, ex trash executives, investors, you don't seem to learn. There are rules, there are laws, there are regulations in each country. You have to abide by them. And if you don't, you get slapped. So if you want to keep on, you know, forking over 10 million here, 50 million here, 300 and something million wage theft, Continue to do the shit that you do and continue to hire Tony West, right? He will only take you south, not west. He'll take you one way down, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, um, baie dankie, Holland, die Nederlands, goed gedoen, my vrienden, keep on fighting, stand with us on 
uh, February the 14th, Valentine's Day, apps off, or leave the apps on and just don't take the trips, right? Bye, Ranky, Dankyvel.